Hey everybody, welcome to, I believe, work 12, week 12 of our online Bible class. Um, I'm excited, this is a little different lesson if you're already looking to see what I'm talking about um, and trying to figure out how M&Ms play into this. Uh, M&Ms are one of my favorite candies, so uh, this was kind of fun finding um, a lesson on it. Um, so I'm going to kind of talk to you a little bit how M&Ms could be a little bit like us being a Christian. Um, that may just help us remember some of the things that we're called to do. So first of all, M&Ms are marked with an M. And if you look, I don't know if I can pull that up close enough, each and every one of these M&Ms have an M stamped on them. And um, as Christians, we're also marked and um, or we're sealed with the Holy Spirit. In Ephesians 4.30, it says, And don't grieve God's Holy Spirit. You were sealed by him for the day of redemption. <clears throat> Excuse me. But see, we're also marked with a purpose and a focus. And we are marked for ministry. And in Hebrews 12, 1 and 2, again, if you're getting your Bibles, Hebrews 12, 1 and 2, it says, Therefore, since we also have such a large cloud of witnesses surrounding us, let us lay aside every hindrance and the sin that so easily ensnares us, let us run with endurance the race that lies before us, keeping our eyes on Jesus, the source and perfecter of our faith. For the joy that lay before him, he endured the cross, despising the shame, and sat down at the right hand of the throne of God. Such powerful, powerful words. So, M&M's are marked with an M. So next time you look at an M&M, &M, notice that M on there and remember that we are marked for a purpose and we are marked for, again, the letter M, ministry. Number two, M&Ms come in a variety of colors, right? We've got brown and green and red and orange, yellow, blue. They're all different colors, just like the people of the world. We are all different colors, right? And God has created each of us in a unique and many different ways. Although we're called to ministry, we each are uniquely gifted. We have different backgrounds. We have different personalities. Um, just to name a few things. In 1 Corinthians 12, find it here, 4 through 6. I'm going to read that now. 1 Corinthians 12, 4 through 6. Now, there are different gifts, but the same Spirit. There are different ministries, but the same Lord. And there are different activities, but the same God produces each gift in each person. Wow. I've read that scripture before, but doing this lesson really made me think a lot more about that. Um, that we each, I know we each all have our different gifts, but we are... Um, God made us that way because he's called us for different purposes. And in, sometimes it gets so easy that we see somebody and we want to look like them or we want to act like them or um, be like them. And that's not how God has us. He has us all different. He has us um, special in our own ways. 
Um, I think about the ministries. I don't know if you all realize like how many ministers we have at our church, you know, whereas you know me that um, I'm the children's minister. So my ministry work at church is with the children, with the younger children. And um, Mr. Josh, that you get to hear um, preach every Sunday, um, he is doing Bible classes and he preaches and he also ministers to anybody and everybody in the congregation. Uh, Mr. John, if you know Mr. John, he's our outreach minister. And Mr. John, um, he works with people in the area that um, could be struggling or need some extra help or just need to know about Jesus. And he even works with the missions and the people um, in other countries, just trying to share that good news. So both Mr. Josh and Mr. John both are preaching the good news to everyone, but they have their own gifts of the ways that they do that. Um, we have Miss Nika and Mr. Ben that work with our youth ministry. And um, someday when you're no longer part of the children's ministry, you'll move up to the youth ministry and um, get to work with them. They get to work with those older kids. And we have Mr. Greg, who works with our families um, in different ways, our family units um, and things that they're needing, um, you know, at different times. Uh, remember a few weeks ago, you went through to get your um, little packet of activities with the uh, beach ball and um, uh, Mr. Greg gets to work with our families that way, and I'm really excited this next week. We're going to have a brand new minister at our church, Mr. Daniel, and um, he is going to um, really be a support in helping in different ways um, in our um, church congregation um, with Bible classes and um, He'll get to uh, preach some as well. And so we're just so excited to add him. Um, so you see all of our ministers and we all have different gifts and they're different. And yet we're all able to come as a team to work together, which is pretty cool. Um, we're very uh, lucky that way. And so, God has his way of blending our backgrounds, our personalities, and our spiritual gifts into unique individual ministries for his kingdom. So we have lots of people in our church that do different things. Um, we have um, some other ministries like um, men's ministry that they all work together do activities we have women's ministries um, and someday as you grow older you know you're going to find your ministry of way that could be helping you may not have a job in the church like i do but you always have a ministry of going out and teaching that good news to other people and that is such an important piece, reaching other people. Um, so I wanted to think about, I'm going to see if I can, I don't know if you can see all these, so I'm going to pull them up here. I want you to think about, um, about all the different ways that these colors may be how we're different. We've got red, which is red hot, bold, competitive. We've got blue, and you may be more calm, dependable, solid. Um, yellow, maybe friendly, positive, creative, encouraging. Green, maybe you're analytical, organized, practical, decisive person. 
Um, orange may be that assertive, outgoing personality. Brown may be warm, inviting, trustworthy, wholesome. But again, God has a way of blending that in our um, personalities. And we're just, we're just so thankful in that we're all different. And I hope you will learn as you get older to really embrace that piece. Um, our third way that M&Ms and being a Christian is um, have similarity is that M&Ms are filled with chocolate. And my goodness, I don't know about you, but chocolate is one of my favorites. I would probably call myself a chocoholic because anything chocolate, I am all about it. Um, and the the neat thing about our Christians is being a Christian is we are filled with God's love. So we're both filled. And um, just like these M&Ms, they're all different looking on the outside with their various colors. So God created each of us uniquely and different, just like we've been talking about. And an M&M, if you took that chocolate filling out, the, the shell of an M&M would be so fragile. I probably couldn't even be holding it without it just crumbling and breaking because it's not filled. Um, so without, uh, we, it wouldn't have any taste either. It would just be, it would just be a shell. And as us as people, we, without God's love, we also would be very fragile and very, very empty. And so I'm going to read another scripture. First John, if you want to either pause to find first John and then click back on me. But first John four, verse nine through 16. So quite a few here. 9 through 16. God's love was revealed among us in this way. God sent his one and only son into the world so that we might live through him. Love consists in this, not that we loved God, but that he loved us and sent his son to be the atoning sacrifice for our sins. Dear friends, if God loved us in this way, we all we also must love each other. No one has ever seen God. If we love one another, God remains in us and his love is made complete in us. This is how we know that we remain in him and he in us. He has given us a spirit and we have seen that we testify that the Father has sent his Son as the world's Savior. Whoever confesses that Jesus is the Son of God, God remains in him and he in God. And we have come to know and to believe the love that God has for us. God is love, and the one who remains in love remains in God, and God remains in him. Wow, boys and girls, that is just so, such a powerful message from God, and how much that we need him, and how much his love makes us the ministers that we need to be and how important it is for us to love everyone, no matter how different they are from us or the same as us. We need to make sure that we are loving other people. I want to end our time together again in prayer. So if you will bow your heads. Dear God, thank you for this message this morning and helping us remember that you have made each and every one of us unique and special. 
and it has been planned out and thought out how you want us to be. Lord, help us stand up to be who you want us to be and to share our light for the love of you and to remember to love others. In Jesus I pray, amen. Thanks everybody. Have a blessed week. Love you. Bye.